Hello and welcome to my Hasbun Hotel Reviews. We'll be talking about every episode, references, Easter eggs, connections to the rest of the show. Sometimes you'll see my Sona, which leads us into episode 6, Welcome to Heaven. In it, Charlie and Vaggy go to heaven. Meanwhile, the rest of the cast are hanging out with Cherry. Shenanigans ensue. The episode opens with Charlie overpacking a bunch of gear we won't see her wear in the last of the episode. Pride sticker because she's from the Pride Ring, daughter of Lucifer, and also a rainbow because, of course, Vaggy doesn't want to go still. Meanwhile, Angel's had a tough day at work. But luckily at that time, jumping in like Spider-Man is Cherry Bomb from the pilot. She's Angel's bestie, she looks basically the same from the pilot, and in case you didn't realize that she's Australian, they toned up her accent. In the background here, we see Nifty transform into a red blob and then up to the couch. Cherry wants to hang out with Angel, and Charlie invites everyone else to go. Cherry really doesn't like this, but is convinced with money. So Charlie grabs her girlfriend and heads out. I oh, won't that have been funny if Serpentia has just walked into heaven by accident. Jojo pose. He refers to being Cherry's nemesis from the pilot, and he's also very down bad for her. Meanwhile in heaven, Vaggie's still not liking it. And at the pearly gates, we meet St. Peter, who like in mythology is the gatekeeper of heaven. And then two biblically accurate angels morphed into more appealing looking designs. This is Sarah the Seraphim and Emily. Sarah refers to Charlie as daughter of the Morning Star, and her and Emily hit it off which leads into St. Peter singing Welcome to Heaven. The architecture looks a little different from what we saw in Chera, but that might just be the difference of where the angels and where the winners live. The winners are the opposite of the sinners because they made it to heaven, but they still get deviant art furiosis. I kind of wish they did go with my theory that heaven was mostly a ghost town, but whatever. I think this winner might just be a reference to Freddy Fazbear. The most significant winner we see is this one, who's actually Molly. Angel Dust's sister. She's been a character in development just about as long as Angel has been, and we've known for a very long time that she wasn't actually in Hell, and this confirms that she's been in Heaven. She's been redesigned to also include wings and a halo like the other winners, and I kind of like that they don't point it out. Like, if you get it, you get it. Also, the implication that Angel wants to be redeemed so he can see his sister again. We see four characters with the fine muscle, which is unique for a Vizzy Pop design, given. Dave knows how scared I am of muscles. I'm so scared <laughs> yeah. of muscles. Is that why all of the is that why all the boys in Hasmen are fucking twinks? Because you're scared of yeah. muscles. Yes! It actually is. The way I draw like muscular Vivis. characters, because I do, I do draw muscular characters, but they're not like defined muscular. They're like shape muscular. They're not they're not defined. Viv is because I, I can't. So, no! <laughs> and yes, there are old people who die too. Vaggy's face here. <laughs> this is our first time seeing Adam and Loot since the first episode. And our first time seeing Loot without her mask on. It turns out the exterminations are all hush hush. Don't fucking shush me, bitch. And Sarah's in on it. At the hotel, which one of them plays the guitar. Charlie's going to the zoo, and there's a koala. Vaggy's staying behind, but then someone's at the door. Hey there, Vagisaurus! Emma and Luke barge in, and we get the biggest twist in the entire series. It turns out Vaggy is a former exterminator. This has sort of been hinted towards, with Luke and her having very similar designs, and her even in the pilot having an angelic weapon, which we can tell is her original spear. It's also said that Adam named her Vagina. I guess that also implies that he named Loot. So, the exterminators all probably have really basic names. But Vaggy didn't want to kill a sinner kid, so let him escape. But Lou felt that was bad, so cut her eye out, tore her wings out, and cast her out. So now a fallen, she ditched her uniform until Charlie found her and patched her up. I like the detail that we can tell they're wearing the pilot designs. Just that little bit of black on her pants really does just help break up Charlie's design. Either way, Adam wants to use this as leverage to not have Charlie win this. At the meeting to debate redemption, unicorn chair, and a crowd of unique looking angels, Adam basically comes up with the ideas of redemption revolving around the ideas of being selfless, don't steal, and stick it to the man. They forgot to put the text on the paper even though we'll see it later. So they ponder the orb to see what Angel's doing, and he's doing his thing with Cherry. 
Nifty's being nifty, and Serpentius is buying drinks for everyone, while also hitting on Cherry. Charlie says there's nothing really wrong here, so continuing, we see Angel being selfless by cutting Nifty off when she's had too much, stopping her from stealing bleach, you know, dad stuff, even stopping her from crying. Cherry thinks this is lame. Serpentius tries having sex with her and says that he's going to have sex with everyone. Wait a minute. Oh, no. No, no, Valentino's there in a dress. So Angel has to stop Nifty from being Nifty with him. Angel stands up to the man by saying that they can abuse him just as long as they don't touch his friends. Then Nifty steals some of his hair. And this guy gets around. This guy already just got done with Pentius and now he's going to get blown by Cherry. But Angel, despite doing exactly what Adam said, he's not in heaven still. Which Sarah thinks is weird, which leads us into the song, Don't You Know. Which begins with Adam and Lou saying that redemption is not a thing. Come down and exterminate you. Wait. Now exterminations exposed, Emily joins Charlie. If hell is forever, then heaven must be a lie. Emily. If angels can do whatever and remain in the sky. If hell is forever, then heaven must be a lie is probably the best line in the entire franchise. Calling out the hypocrisy of eternal damnation while also playing on Hell's Forever from the first episode. Which kind of makes me wish this was the season finale, kind of like a bookend to the season. Especially because this gets to Angel speaking. So Adam and Lou calls out Vaggy for being a former exterminator, which hits Charlie pretty hard. Symbolism of right now, we can see that the Shadow has like nice looking wings and a smiley face. While in Hell, she had the X over the eye and looked a lot more scary with the horns and more jagged wings. The court finds that redemption is not a thing and sends them back to Hell. It's a couple things I don't like about the episode, but overall, I kind of also love it. I wish we had more time with Cherry, and we didn't just skip five months until already dealing with Heaven. The season is going by really fast at this point with eight episodes. I think it's probably because Vivi didn't know that we would be getting a season two why we're already dealing with heaven. She definitely does have some writing problems, so not knowing the foresight that she would get a season two of her passion project with major studio funding, so she just kind of had to get everything she wanted to do out of her system right away. But the episode itself is pretty good. You Don't Know is a really good song with really meaningful lyrics. The twist with Vaggie was not something I expected. The stuff with the rest of the cast is fun, I still wish we did get more of Cherry, and Welcome to Heaven might be default the worst song in the season. Not because it's bad, but it's just not as like fantastic as every other song in the episodes. It's also weird that St. Peter gets a song before Nifty does. Overall, I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. Remember to hit the like button, share with your friends, comment below, and subscribe if you're new.